everybody. It's Kiara Zero Unochita coming to you with Clock Tower for the SNES. Um, I got the SNES, as you can plainly see, so I could play ROMs of old games. Uh, pff, um, and I decided that I was going to re-record the last set tonight as there's some bad weather coming in he here in Ohio. Big ice storm, blah, 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 blah. Of course, it's going to hit right when Solon Ensemble is this weekend. It's supposed to be on February 5th. Yeah, I hope it happens, because it's actually at my school for once. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Load. Oh, my God. Hopefully, this time I can get through this without messing up too much. God. Human entertainment! Oh my god, this is boring. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up. I am an impatient gamer. Clock Tower. And this actually came out the year I was born. Probably after I was born, because I was born in, like, February, which is really early in the year. Um, so it is nearing 16 years old, which is awesome. And they're coming out with a remake of it called Clock Tower Remothered, which is a fan game, I think, of it. It's fan-made. But, oh my god, it looks amazing. It's actually real. I checked it on multiple websites. I even checked it on YouTube. It's actually going to happen. It finally went into production, like, late, I think, 2010? I don't know, but it looks great. Plus, it promises to be scarier. I hope to be getting that when it actually comes out. Alright, enter. Let's see if I can remember how to play this. Okay, just so you can see, I have got none. None of the... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 endings. I do not have any of them. Because I just like playing this game and seeing how long I can go without getting killed by Scissor Man. And yes, there is a Scissor Man. If you didn't know that, whoops! Raising the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends were wanted as adopted daughters. I love this music. It happened in September, which for some reason is the survival horror month. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Rock and Robin. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Rock and Robin. I'm sorry. Laura, hurry up! We want to be there before sunset! Miss Mary? Yes? From now on, what kind of place will we be living in? That's the fifth time you asked! Don't worry. It's a very nice place. Ugh. I hate trying to do accents, but I must for her. I have to. We're almost there. See? I hate trying to do accents. I hate it. Ow, I have a hangnail. Ouch. Oh, yes, and I'm playing this with a keyboard. Why? Because my PC game controller did not want to cooperate. Ooh, this place is fancy. What a huge place! God, why'd I give her that no voice? Yeah! The main hall's gigantic! Ugh, why do I feel the need to do voices? I got to go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone, wait here! As she slowly walks. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, a walk, 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 walk. Oh, hangnail sting. Ow. I don't mean to be a baby, but ouch. 
Okay. Talk to her. Hey, Ann? You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah? And then she says nothing more. Check the table. Ellipses! Jess! Talk to Laura. What is it? Is something wrong? This house makes me feel uneasy. Makes me uneasy. Not feel... I'm sorry, I'm hyper. I just had caramel and vanilla flavored marshmallows. Don't mind me. I doubt I'll ever get used to this place. Da da da. Hmm? <laughs> Lots paranoid. Da 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 da. Mary, she's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? No. I'll go look for her. Ah, oh, some music. I'm sorry if my singing is awful. I have not warmed up today. Keep going. Check the window. Oh, God. The main hall? And she calmly walks towards it. Girls? Come on! This isn't funny! Dot, 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 dot. Silence. Right, let's turn the lights on in here, because it is creepy. <gasps> and I said, let there be light! No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not doing that joke. And now we can run! Thank goodness. I don't usually make, let her walk. I'm sorry. It is not worth it. Nope. That's way. We will come back here in a very short period of time. And you will see why. And running does drain your health or the amount of stamina you have to fend off attacks. Which... You'll probably hear keys clicking. I'm sorry. Can't help that. I have a clicky keyboard. Clicky, clicky. Turn this on. Yay! We shall have lights. Okay, go over here. Freaking. I'll get used to this a walk. I'm used to holding down the run button in every single game I play. Even on Spyro, I used to charge around, and I still got everything, even though my mom said it made her feel seasick. Or sick. Either or. Oh, goodness gracious. Really? Ignore the phone. My mom has one upstairs. Oh, my freaking da My dad's calling, and I have to keep a phone in here, because apparently people have called me now, and... It looks like the left bed isn't used. Is the line in use? The line is in use. Okay, she got it. <coughs> Goodness. Alright, let's go check your reflection. Pretty hair. Pretty hair. Oh, good! No! No! Away! Oh, my own reflection tried to strangle me. Uh, yeah, things like that happen in this game. Ugh. So, um, yes. That is what is known as an action sequence. When her portrait starts flashing and you have to mash the B button, whatever you assign for it. Oh, the perfume smelled like Miss Mary's. Um, you have to mash whatever you assign for the B button. Otherwise, you will die. And it is not pleasant. All you will get is dead end. Just n nothing else, nothing else, just dead end. Not even game over, just dead end. Nothing more, nothing less. Hmm? Oh. What 
a rude bird. I was gonna let you out and give you a cracker. Oh, you'll kill me, hmm? Well, guess who's small enough to suffocate? Alright. I'm clicking on the freaking cover. God. Mm-hmm. Ha! Ah, suffocate, birdie. Suffocate. Polly doesn't want a cracker now, huh? But see how her portrait changed colors? Yeah, that means she is slightly frightened. And her... Um... Stamina went down a little bit. When she gets to the lowest level of stamina, she will trip and fall at either the worst times or just randomly. I don't know why. Right. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go over here. Because I always make sure the first thing I ever do is go in that room, pick up the perfume, because you will need it. And kill that freaking parrot. It is a blabbermouth. Don't feel bad about killing it, because it was like, I kill you! I kill you! And it's like, you're not Ahmed. You don't get to say that. And so I strangled him, because of, you know, copyright infringement. Anyway. Pocketed a rock! Okay! Don't know why you couldn't have picked one off here, but... But, um, I had to kill him because of both copyright infringement, even though he was first, and... The fact that he was just annoying. And he would have killed Jennifer. He would have pecked her eyes out. I know, right? Perfume rock. Vandalism! Yay! Logic wins. For once. It's a video game. It's one of the first psychological survival horrors. Believe it or not.